Uh, in this video, I will be showing you how to create a collision in CRC32 through an encrypted zip file, which is this. Now, here's the zip file. As you can see, it's protected by a password, and we don't know what is in it. So, if we try to look at the details in the zip file, we're going to use the zip 7-zip. So, it's encrypted, so password protected. And we only have one file, which is a text file. And text file doesn't have an, any headers, so any plain text attack is out of the question because it's only five bytes in size. So we know that there's five characters in the text file. Now this file is actually a part of the puzzle, which is here. And it's from Alamarjan from Steam Gifts. Link in the description. I'll link it down below. And the five character is actually a unique giveaway link. So if we try to just open the giveaway link here, and this is the five character unique giveaway link. So the possible characters are small and capital A to Z, and the number is zero to nine. So pretty much our goal here is to create a five byte text file that has a CRC32 that matches the, the one in the zip file, which is this one. Uh, yeah, 01A72207. So we need to create a text file, five character string that matches the CRC. So first thing that comes to my mind is to create all possible five characters that maps on all CRC32 values, but that's stupidly expensive to do. So we need some way to reduce the number of possibilities. Uh, and luckily, there's a tool that actually actually make you make it force a any file and you just give it the new CRC value that you want and it will um, replace the first four consecutive bytes in a file which is the first four characters so now we can now that reduces a lot of the possible possibilities so from 62 raised to 5 now we're down to 62 raised to 1 basically 62 possible files to edit now with this we have a method that we can do so first we simply generate 62 text files where the first four characters is basically anything you want and the last character will be from the small a to z big a to z then the numbers zero to nine so to create the uh, we need a program to create those 62 files easily so i'm gonna write this in c code so create 62 files and it's just gonna be a console console application blah 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 finish and we're just gonna include standard c libraries that we only need that h and stdio that h and then for we need a file so we create here and then we need 62 so we need a variable for that we start with zero then we need the file path file path which is we're gonna put it here a uh, string which is this where's the folder uh here i'm gonna put it here and we're gonna name it uh m yeah then just make a buffer car path buffer 30 i guess uh, and then we need a buffer for the number so we have we're using already file num uh, just say c i guess and then we need the main loop which we're gonna loop for the file num up to 60, uh, 62 so i think it's 63 and then we're gonna add append we generate the string for the file path so 
Well, we're gonna initialize the path buffer, the first one, so we don't get an error. And the buffer for number. So it's TRN cat. I mean, so we need to append file constant path to the buffer first. So it's TRN cat path buffer, then the file path constant, which is how many characters is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay. So 22. Then why are you complaining? Steer and cat is undefined. Uh, I have include here. Oh fuck, it's the most TDI of string at age. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh steer and cat for we have a so we pass it to the buffer. Now we actually need to make the number for the string number. So uh need to pass file num to C but we need to make it a string uh, that's a sprint F so we pass it in C we want the number of file num and then we append that to the path buffer but instead of the file pass constant we put it on C Uh, probably just need uh, we need a str cat because this is going to be a one digit and a set, two digits later. And then we just need to append so we have n the number and then the what do you call that file extension. So path buffer again. Now we're gonna give it path extension, but just use text. And that's four characters. Now we have the full file pass directory. We open it, actually create it. So that is path buffer with write and update. And then we want to first print a random four bytes at the front. So I don't know, it's FP134 works. And then we're gonna make a NIF since we want small a to z, big a to z, and 0 to 9. So let's start with 0 to 9. Just copy file num to the printing. So we start with 0 to 9. If file num is less than 10, do you want to print? Put it to FP and a number, it's a percent D and file number. So, whatever is the file number, we print it on the file. So, N0 will have 0 in N1, N2, N3. And then, else if we're, if we're over 10, we're gonna start with let's see, I don't actually remember the ASCII code and ASCII code. So, file num. Uh, we have 26 characters, so well, less than 36. Uh, and then we want to f print f it to fp again. This time a character which we don't know yet. So let's start with the ASCII code. Now uh, it's 65. So it's 65 plus file num, but since we have 10 in it, we just minus 10 and 
that's correct, I think. And then last one will be <coughs> just printing the small. So basically this again, but it's going to be a different offset. Instead of 65, it's 97. And since we have a... Uh, this is we have a plus one here it's gonna be a 37 uh, I'll go with 36 and then while file num plus plus and then we close the file and I think that should work save so let's just see there's no files so if you want run this we should have files there and we have an error. Uh, what's the error? STRN cat unsafe. Ah, uh, fuck. How do we disable unsafe shits? All right, I'm back. So I just need to put some, and we have an error. Port. What now? What did I do? Mm -hmm. Ugh, finally. Okay, I saw the problem now. I was missing a C there. God, that was fucking stupid. So yeah, build it. And it's done. Uh, where is it? Okay, we have... Should be 62 files. Well, 63 because we start with zero. So now we need to check this one by one. If you have a valid, oh no, I mean we need to change this so we have a CRC32 that matches the zip file. So how do we run this thing? So we get this Java file and we compile it. And then we run it. And then give it the file name then offset if you just wanted to write it maybe in the middle of the file but we don't care about that you want it to do zero because it's going to change the four starting file uh, bytes then we wanted the specific CRST value so for that we're gonna have a script and I already made a script here uh, open with uh, open with just drag it I mean, uh, no. Run as administrator before you drag it. Yeah, so here. So I just written this in the bash script and then it gave me this. So it's basically forcing all the text file. This is specific CRD32. And then we're going to check it later if we have a valid giveaway link. So just run the command bat and it should be overriding these files and it's done and if, if you try to open one here so did you see that the first four bytes is now changed but the last one is still intact <clears throat> so now we're gonna write a new code but we're gonna write, use most of this to actually easily get the valid file so we're just gonna comment this out. And then copy the bulk. And we're just gonna rewrite some of the files here. So we don't need to print this anymore. Uh, we don't need to print it again. And we're gonna change this to write, to read. And then we need the counter. It's gonna count, of course. Then uh, we need uh, an int for the character for each, or since we're gonna read for each character. Then while since it, we're gonna check the first four bytes, while counter is less than four. Then we use get car. Is it right? So get car I forgot uh shit I forgot get C get car
no that's actually for input uh, f get f gets is getting a string uh, f get c I guess character Ugh, fucking hell oh fucking slow f get c okay we get that so f get c we need the file so fp so it's going to return what it's an int so got car then we're gonna do an if for it so if this things so first we want the number i don't actually know the ascii code for numbers if 47 58 so if dot car is greater than 47 and then we got car less than 58 then or or this is for the small number uh big numbers first those are 64 and 64 to where 64 to 91 64 to 91 another or or which is 96 96 to what 96 to 1 2 3 mm -hmm. 1 2 3 and then that um, if counter is on the last one which is less than a uh, uh, no, 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 way less than in three. What the hell? Then we print F the file num file num and then if we got it, we Print it. Uh, we're missing. Yeah, we're missing. Uh, what's this? That's one. And that one. So if that, we print the file num, then we break on the counter loop. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to. Is it? Uh. Oh, we break. Yeah, we break here if it's wrong. Then we break here. Then counter plus plus here. And that, that should work. Uh, in blah blah blah. Okay. So we have the modified files here, and this one should. I'm missing something which is the get car which I was talking about earlier. Okay. They should output the possible giveaways and it said 53. So if we check 53 and here got this. So that's a valid giveaway link. Because if we check everything here actually, let's get those random characters which is not valid. So if we just get one of the giveaways here whatever and then here no not that uh this one so if we remove this and substitute to that we got the giveaway link and there you go that's how you generate a a collision for a crc32 and this is only possible this only works here because we have the tool to actually for crc32 by changing the first four bytes or whatever bytes on off depending on the offset you want and since the giveaway links are just five characters generate the first random four bytes and we just need to iterate to a 62 possibilities which is the a, a to z small and big and the zero to nine that's it